Katya Woods Couple Soul Show. Hi, how are you, Stacey? Hi, Katya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, this show is, it reminds me a lot of what women usually, you know, when they get married young or, you know, you get into your 40s and you see some of your single friends. Um, <laughs> having lived a little bit more do you feel that kind of like embodies that because she's constantly questioning um her decision making yeah i mean i think that it is about you know what happens when you grow up and you give up that other part of yourself from your single girl in the city days and those wild child days and now you're supposed to be a responsible grown-up and a wife and mom and you're not supposed to be those other things but you know, we miss it. We miss, you know, not, not only that time and those impossibly sexy men and that incredible sex and everything, but that version of ourselves, um, that felt so free. And, um, and, and I, I think that's the journey that she's on. Do you also think that, um, it's also about that myth that you can have it all, do you know what I mean? Which I think is, is so hard for women because, you know, motherhood in itself is one thing that mm -hmm. is hard enough to tackle how to be a wife and still have your own identity is another you know huge thing to tackle and then you throw up on you know you throw on top of that you know am i the best version of myself am i settling do you think these are all things that we're still grappling with as women as we're trying to you know navigate forward totally and you know one of the mantras in you know feminist thinking these days is that you can have it all but just not all at the same time and I've always really bristled at that because I just think that's another way of saying you can't have it all and I think that this show is a show that says it's okay to be a responsible grown-up and even a wife and mom and also want to be a ravenous sex goddess at the same time you know and that all parts of yourself deserve to be acknowledged and celebrated and tended to by your partner and um, I think it's you know it's really not just about having it all but but being able to be it all too you know and I think that it's very easy to say like well I got to be this to my kids and this to my husband it is important for you to look and say like are you getting you know are you able to express all parts of yourself as well. And it's also like looking at yourself, like I, you notice the difference in wardrobe, right? When she was going out and partying, she got all juiced up and everything was about, you know, a certain type of image. Because clothes does, have, clothes, makeup, all of that are things to help enhance how you feel about yourself, you know? And then when you see her in full mom mode, she's not wearing makeup, her hair is kind of disheveled, her t-shirt's not even like, you know, permanently pressed. <laughs> And, you know, do you think she's looking at that and saying to herself, like, what is going on here? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you feel that the visual is heightening all of the other things. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the moral of the story is that we should all like, you know, do our hair and makeup and get a sparkly dress and go out on the town, no matter what <laughs> age you are or, or whatever. But it's just, it's the truth of, you know, and particularly for, you know, motherhood and new motherhood, which she's in is that like the days go by and you realize, oh gosh, I didn't even get to shower um, and I'm exhausted. And, you know, it's sort of, you're just putting one foot in front of the other, you know, and, um, and then you wake up as she says, and you become this whole other person. And it's, you know, I, I hope that, yes, it, it, this series encourages people to go, you know, buy a metallic pink leather jacket or a sparkly dress and go out on the town. Absolutely. I, I like that. I mean, whoever came up with her being in the nightgown, yeah. like indoors, outdoors, like the whole, almost seemed like 24 hours, that was genius. Because yeah. we've all yeah, been that was in the laundry, yeah. like, I'm still in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And I am I am a big proponent of the classic white cotton nightgown. I am living my best white cotton nightgown life whenever I can. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I really enjoyed the series. Okay, great. Thank you so much. <laughs>